hello happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to show you all how i file acrylic nails for the first time i actually did my first set of acrylic nails a few weeks ago and um, i didn't show the filing process in that video and i wanted to make a dedicated video just showing you all how to file acrylic nails it's my first time doing it my first time really um, going in and using my e-file at a really high speed and this is what the nails are looking like after the acrylic application um, kind of lumpy kind of bumpy and so I just want to show you all how I file um, I do actually file so I did this set with my non-dominant hand and so I'm going to be filing with my non-dominant hand as well so I did have a few issues with like holding the file and things like that but let's hop into this and see how I was able to get some nice nicely shaped acrylic nails that means this is all ready to go I'm not sure what happened back here but this seems like it's not trying to harden up it feels a little gummy so I'm gonna just let that hang out for a little bit and hopefully it hardens up eventually but the rest of these nails are ready to go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start with just um, filing my free edge and shaping that Oh, these files are really good. I'm using the Young Nails files. These are really good. Okay. Oh, that's a nice crisp edge there. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't take much to file that edge now, does it? Okay, I'm impressed. Okay, so it was at this point that I realized I forgot to bring out my dust collector. So I brought it out and I have my um, e-file. Um, this is like one of those beginner e-files. It's like 20 bucks off Amazon. And that's what I'm using to, um, I have it with the sanding band right now because, you know, it's my first time, like I said, really going in and using my e-file at a high speed. So I wanted to make sure I didn't cut, cut my cuticles or anything like that. And I soon realized that the sanding band just isn't going to be strong enough for this filing. So I do eventually switch to a different bit. Um, but I just wanted to say I'm not really that good at filing and shaping my nails. And it's something that I've tried to push myself to do more of in 2022. So I left a lot of this footage in in real time in hopes that it will be helpful to others that also struggle with filing and shaping. Um, and so, yeah, you all will see here shortly that I ended up going in and watching a Young Nails video. They've been really helpful to me throughout my acrylic journey and they have great tutorials on their YouTube page. 
and so I actually stopped midway through um, trying to file my nails and just watch their video so here's the clip that I watched and then I'll continue on with filing my nails I was very scared and nervous to go in with this bit because the only bit that I've ever really used was my sanding band. So I found that video to be super helpful. I am going to leave it linked down in the description box in case it could help someone else out as well. But I switched my bit to a 5 and one bit. Um, I'm not sure like the grip if it's like medium or coarse. I think it's medium actually. So it's a medium bit and I use that to finish shaping and y'all this stuff shaves off the rest of the acrylic like it was shaving ice like it, it really made a world of a difference and at this point I'm using the drill at 10,000 rpm so yeah I'll let y'all watch me finish shaping the nails
will see me do as I'm uh, shaping and filing the nail is I'm constantly checking the different angles um, of my nails to make sure that the shape is coming together nicely um, or coming together the way that I want it to come together. Um, sorry for the background noise, my little one is up. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to check the different angles to make sure I'm getting the sides you know, nice and tight and right and um, getting the apex good. So yeah, that's just something that I, you know, observed as I was filing and watching this video. Um, so yeah, I'll let you all finish on watching me I'll work my magic here. I really enjoyed using this 100 grit Young Nails hand file to shape and crisp in the edges of my nails. It made the process much easier. I originally started um, with an old cheap file that I got within like some you know gel polish kit and I could immediately tell the difference. So using higher quality products makes a big difference uh, when you're filing your nails. So yeah, I would recommend investing in some so that it will make your um, filing process and journey a lot easier like it did for me. Okay, so I am all done filing, shaping, and buffing. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, um, a good file makes a world of a difference, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and dust everything off here. Okay, let's 
see what we work it with. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now I think I'm supposed to go in and buff the nails. So I'm gonna buff the nails with this buffer that I have here, just to kind of smooth it out. Okay, and it's gonna get rid of all the scratches and such on the nail. I really like these files from Young Nails. Okay. <laughs> Alright y'all, this is probably the best filing, shaping, and buffing I've ever in my life did. You guys see, got a nice little arc there. I got a nice little apex there. Cuticles look pretty flushed. I'm impressed you guys. I'm impressed with the shaping and filing on this stuff. I'm gonna say about this acrylic application, right? Having quality products matter. So, the buffers that I used are high quality. Having that five in one drill bit is high quality. So just the products you use really do matter. So in total, it took me about 45 minutes to file the nails. Um, that's my first time ever filing acrylic and my first time ever applying acrylic and I did them both with my non-dominant hand, so I'm not mad at it. I will leave the video for this acrylic application in the description box below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.